All right, look at that. My parsley's still alive. I'm going to take Buddy. Oop, there's my finger. I'm going to take Buddy for a run. Hey, Bud. Hey, Bud. Bud. Buddy, you want to go for a run? Yeah? All right, there's people out in the woods, huh? All right, we're going out in the woods in a second. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take some video, show you the New England uh, fall season here and all that kind of stuff. It's actually more winter than fall now, isn't it? But we still haven't got any snow yet. And... It's about 318 and the sun is just about going down. So I got I got to get my I got to get my ass in gear. Okay, so here we are. There's the boy. Look at all the leaves. Some pine trees, big rocks, the big glacial rock. It's all glacial till around here. I just came by the trail committee guys are putting a new bridge in. I've been running out here illegally on private property for years, but they finally got permission so they took my my hastily constructed split tree bridge. And replacing it with a real with a real bridge so that's good i guess i'll be able to get my mountain bike across now without falling in the water so that's cool look at all the old the old stone walls out here so all, this all this this all used to be farmer field you know this was all pasture you can tell by the different types of walls you can look at the walls and see whether it was a a sheep wall or a or a um, just a marking wall to mark the fields you can tell by the height and the way the, the walls are built. Um, so these walls are like two, three hundred years old, which, you know, in the grand scheme of things isn't that old, but it's old for for uh, around here. What do you think, bud? Can we keep going? All right, man, you look good. You look good. You do. Yeah. Right. No, I'm impressed. All right, man, let's go. Oh, I got my orange on too, right? You're running this time of year, you got to have your orange because uh, it is deer season. I don't know. I don't know if it's shot season or or arrow season, or blunderbuss, or nuclear weapon season, but they are they are out here chasing deer with something. So you don't want to get yourself shot. Bye. All right, so, hey Boo, come here. What are you doing? Yeah, so we're out uh, out here. This is actually uh, sort of a, a new trail behind the orchard. There's an orchard up there. So the sun's going down on me, but you can see uh, this is the kind of thing this isn't really a farm wall. It was a farm wall. It's more of a bulldozer road. You can tell how haphazard the uh, the rocks are. But this is what I got to do when I'm out here on my Kona, out here on my mountain bike. This is the kind of crap I have to put up with. It's these roots and trees and rocks and these stone walls. Ample opportunity to break stuff. But uh, yeah, it's fun. It's fun, right, Boo? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's uh. It's great running. You know, the leaves are down. We're starting to push through the leaves now. Spread them out a little bit. You see a swamp over here. A lot of, a lot of where I run is, um, is rocky and swampy because, you know, necessarily when they came through here in the 50s and 60s, they only built on the stuff that was easy to build on and left the rest. So all the rest of it turned into, um, turned into uh, you know, the uh, conservation land, you know, because it was trash, you know, they wouldn't build here. So, and these forests, if you look at these forests, you look at these trees, you know, there's nothing here that's more than 50 years old. This was all just green grass sheep pasture 50 years ago, you know. So, shows you how the earth abides. The earth abides. All the apples are gone. I'll, be, I'll tell you a secret. I came up here in the fall, and I would steal apples and eat them while I was running. That's hardcore, huh? All right. What do you got, man? What do you got? What do you got? What are we doing? What are we doing? I thought I saw a squirrel. All right, we gotta go. All right, so, hey dog, say hi. All right, so that's where I am. It's our doublet forest. I'm gonna ditch back into the woods over here. It's a real nice section. So if you wanna Google me, that's where I am. Just came up this dirt road. What we got here? Looks like those people are leaving. Don't want to get run over. All right, ciao. Starting to break up a sweat, you know? Hate when that happens. Okay, little instruction here. See that one? That one's a sheep wall. See how tall and how skinny it is? That's for sheep is, sheepies. So you sit out here and count the sheep. But like I said, you know, this is all uh, pasture 50 years ago, so pretty gnarly. There's that little rat. So what do you think of the uh, the guided tour? It's gonna be a big hit. 
two million hits in uh, in YouTube. Dude, what are you doing? Leave it alone. Good boy. Yeah. All right, gotta go. All right, so there's a pretty trail section, huh? Nice little wall. We're up on top of a, uh, a ridge here. The trail follows the ridge. And uh, see the leaves are starting to get packed down from the traffic. Pretty well used trail. There's a pond over there. So, uh, yeah, so this is my kit kind of for cold weather running. I tend to go just with the uh, trail shoes, a pair of running socks. Those are um, ingenious. I think they're from Wigwam, but I got I must have a thousand miles in these socks, and they're they don't they just don't wear out. They say ingenious on them. So these are the uh, Brooks Nightlife shorts. They got that uh, they got that uh, um, bike short inner on them, which is kind of cool. They have these uh, kind of stupid tiny backwards pockets there, which I guess are for gels and stuff. They work okay. And uh, I got a race t-shirt. This is, happens to be from the Derry Boston Prep 16 miler, which the tongue-in-cheek says moderately challenging, which uh, in our parlance up here means there's probably 6,000 feet of elevation gain in that race. It's nuts. Yeah, it's in January too. And uh, this is my new toy that I bought. I carry a bottle and I got one of these from. These are Run for the Border 10 miler, which actually those gloves are from the Eastern States 20 miler. There were leftovers that were given out. Uh, that's one of my favorite spring races. It's usually three weeks before Boston in the spring. And it's nice and flat and you're in shape. So I've had some great races there. Really left a lot on that course. Runs through three states from, from uh, New Hampshire, from Maine through New Hampshire. Right along the sea, yeah. so you're looking over at the ocean the whole way into Massachusetts. So it's it's pretty cool. Eastern State Swim Miler. Ooh, it's hot out here. Had such a mild winter so far. It's strange. So uh, yeah, me and Buddy up on the ridge running. It's really just not as far as I thought it was. These trail miles are pretty slow miles. So with my Garmin, I'm finding out that most of my trail miles are wrong. But I guess you could say they're equivalent to road miles. I don't know. Huh? You want to go? All right, let's go.